April is Child Abuse Awareness and Prevention Month, and Pennsylvania House Republicans spent the first weeks of it continuing to push for greater protections for our children. More than a dozen bills directed at preventing, reporting, and prosecuting child abuse have been voted out of the Children and Youth Committee this session. April is Child Abuse Prevention Month, so it seemed appropriate for the House Children and Youth Committee to begin uh, what we say in Harrisburg is rolling out rolling out the bills that we have that will enhance the child protection laws we have. Recently, the full House passed a bill that would protect the job of someone who reports suspected abuse, even when they're not required by law to do so. For mandated reporters, people who have always been required under the law, think of a doctor or a teacher or something like that, they've had those protections from employment discrimination going after you because you didn't want the person to report the abuse. But if you're what's called a permitted reporter, which might just be me for one, um, I'm not mandated, but as a legislator, if I see something I could, there were no protections. 429 affords the same protections. Lawmakers also want to crack down on those who use their computers to victimize children. House Bill 90, which, which passed unanimously in the House, uh, would allow us an administrative subpoena to uh, to get information, IP information on child sex predators. By the way, which we have about 3,000 on any given day that are downloading the most vile type of pornography and child sex torture on the internet. Uh, pictures that I can't even talk about uh, here uh, uh, with my constituents. But um, this would allow us to go after these uh, these uh, deviants. And it, it in no way, the ACLU has been uh, portraying this as a violation of our Fourth Amendment rights. This information has already been determined by the U.S. Supreme Court and the state Supreme Court as not being private and not being, uh, have no expectation of privacy. So it's just simply being able to gather the license plate number, who owns the license plate number, uh, in this case of your electronic device, so that they can make further uh, decisions on whether they want to go get a search warrant to go and search the actual device. So this is a big win for our children, and it's a huge setback to child uh, internet sexual predators. Another set of bills relating to mandated reporting passed out of committee. They would ensure that those who own and work in child care centers receive training on how to recognize and report abuse. These bills are designed to provide appropriate training for mandated reporters so that they clearly understand when to report and how to report and what to report. Training is done now. It's a little more sporadic and we're not sure that it covers all the mandatory reporters that deal directly with children. So we fine-tuned the process along with the Department of State for those agencies and operations that are licensed through the Department of State as part of the licensing process. And also all the departments, agencies, and organizations that uh, work with and are funded through DPW, our Public Assistance Department. These bills follow a larger number that were drafted after a report of recommendations from the Governor's Child Protection Task Force. Many of those proposals have already passed the House and are awaiting action in the Senate. Lawmakers believe there is still more to do. We have and be, will be coming a bill that specifically addresses those who deliberately give a false report because we don't want that. That is the, the boy who cried wolf eyes syndrome where then you think, well, maybe they're not telling the truth. So we will go after those who for reasons of custody or whatever their reason was, they didn't like the neighbor, they made a false report of child abuse. We have that bill coming too to clarify what penalties are, what's required. You'll see a lot more bills issues addressed out of the governor's uh, task force by some very diligent people in the field that are able to help us. So it's important that we bring all the stakeholders together on these issues along with the task force. If you have concerns that a child is being abused, you can report it by calling the Childline hotline at 1-800-932-0313. Protecting children is everybody's business. We can learn what to look for, and then we learn to protect our children better than we have in the past.